This is my uh, Dropbox for the hacker replays. So if you do submit a file and you're like, hey, why hasn't Varsity watched it? This is why. From my understanding, there's currently 10,000 files in here. The first match that we're going to go over is 0820. Yes, it is. So in this match, we have TG7, who's accusing not Impulse. And the reason why they said they're accusing them is because they were suspicious. Also, because apparently someone on the enemy team kept saying the not impulse guy was cheating. And he was boosting, I think, the pato guy. It's an eight round match, so I feel like if they're, if even like the enemy team is like, no, this guy's cheating. I feel like it would not go eight rounds. I feel like that should be pretty obvious. Oh. This guy team killed him right away. First round, I feel like they must have had a previous match. And the Imagina guy was not too happy with the not impulse guy. Oh, did they just team kill him? Yep. The not impulse guy just team killed him. So this guy AFKs. This guy might be actually cheating, because look. Look at how much he lines up the smoke here. He knows exactly where he is. And the perfect headshot. He might be cheating. I'll have to wait and see that. You know, the one-off. We can't base just off that. He can barely hit a drone. He has... Hardly even aimed at anyone through a wall, so... So far looking pretty good. That definitely destroyed the shield and it just did not show up on our end. Right? It must have. Oh no, now the Flores drones are beeping infinitely. explosion go off, but nothing actually broke. The floor is drone is still fucking going off. Oh, it ended. How did that kill him? Excuse me? Look at how far he was. Point is, it was not that close. Oh, now he's holding his gun all weirdly. Oh, he just saw someone on the right, yeah. Okay, I really wish that it would stop looking like this. <laughs> Am I supposed to judge if this is cheating? Okay, so they know that... <laughs> stop! Why does it look like this? It's so hard to tell. We can't tell what's actually being blocked on the screen and what's visible. Don't know what that Twitch was thinking. I don't know how that was a headshot, but... Uh, nothing crazy. Chat, that is not the cheat. Increasing FOV is not a cheat. I mean, or I'm sure it can be, but it is not what's happening here. He wasn't even sure whether that was being broken. He thought it was on the right. They are up 2 0 after team killing three times in a row. And being down a person this round. So the fact that they're still winning, even though they've con consistently been down at least one person, is crazy. 
Now it's Ella in the 1v3. Oh, the Yana now has a purple outline. Never seen that one before. Oh. This guy jiggles more than like a big pair of hentai titties. This guy does not stop jiggling. I could hear the grenade pin pull. He's smart, he's trying to go around. But now they're aware of his rotation. I think that's planting behind the bookshelf. Mm, what? How did he even see him here? I guess he saw him when he was ducking for like a split second. Might just have been an impressive shot. The enemy team doesn't seem to be that good. Yana clutches. I feel like he... Isn't that suspicious? Since... He didn't win it there, but... The shots he's making are nuts. Okay, they're rushing. Oh, I think the lion was going to rush plant and then get the enemy team to defuse. And then the pato guy team killed him, who is, I believe, not impulse is accused of boosting pato. Alright. He just, uh, I guess, did not want to push through a uh, new bulk. This guy does not stop wiggling. It actually is like almost making me motion sick to watch him. Like, if I had to play like this, I would be puking 24-7. He's constantly like... D -d 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 -d. And it, I'm sure it's just the match replay is making it worse, because it makes it all stuttery, but... <sighs> he wasn't even aimed at them and then had to correct his aim. Am I crazy? Or did that not even land on the Aruni? So sure, we can give it to the Mozzie. He shoots the body, aim, aim goes up, maybe one bullet hit him in the head. So, shoots all that. That was not a headshot. And here's the thing. The Aruni is the one who submitted the match. So the entire match is taken from their perspective, what they would have seen. Which means... If in this person's perspective he shot nothing and killed him, then that means that's what his computer registered. This is, it's possible this could be some aim assist type shit going on, but we'll see what else he does. Has he only hit headshots so far? I feel like he has. So like there, he was a little slow to react. He's only hit headshots 100%. Mm. He whiffs everything. Butterfly guy gets it. Honestly, that was like... That one shot onto Rooney is the thing that's the most incriminating in my opinion. So, the Imahina guy is trying to rush and plant, or give them the diffuser, and this team knows that he's doing that, so they're constantly running after him, trying to stop it from happening. 
not impulse hits his first not headshot. Uh, but he did kill the Jaeger who was reinforcing. Ash is about to get a... I just love Dex, bro. Or, oh no, I'm on a Rooney. <laughs> I was gonna say, why wouldn't Ash not kill that person there? Those guys are the Diffuser again. They're all just following him. They're literally, so, we have Amaru, Twitch, and Sledge, who are all just kind of here. The Pato guy, who's the one accused of being boosted, is uh, not with them. Is he about to, like, jump through Skylight with Diffuser? Oh, he is. Oh. They actually stopped themselves from shooting him. Zofia's actually putting it down in a spot that's pretty good for the defenders. Or, sorry, for the attackers. Because, like, they, they could look through Skylight. Actually, no, they wouldn't be able to because this guy's, like, deep in the bomb. So, he kills himself while they're defusing. Did they do anything suspicious here? He actually almost killed the doc there. So in the text document, when they submitted it, they were like, oh, um, the one guy on the team just kept accusing him over and over again, saying he was 100% cheating. So far, all we've seen that was like super suspicious, I guess you can't say two things, was one, that every single shot, or every single kill has been a headshot except for one. And uh, the SMG shot onto a Rooney that shouldn't have done anything but killed her. Also, this lion. Okay, lion's already opened it. I was wondering how they destroyed the Aruni or the uh, Malusi here. It's already wide open. And this angle that this guy holds is so small. But he does react after seeing Cade, so it's not like he preemptively shot there. And Cade's actually fighting back on the same angle, successfully hitting Amaru. was me in that situation, head would have been taken clean off. I just love Dex, bro. He How are Bagel and CC? He killed himself. Look at this. Aims at that guy and shoots Sledge in the head and the reverse friendly fire killed him. Oh my god. Yeah, so the accused team loses. He's had nine kills since I think round six. He also has North Star or Emperor's, so I hate him. I took an adorable fucking photo of CC uh, yesterday. Look at that. Look at that cutie. Back to the uh, to the match. They're gonna lose here. I'm curious what this guy can pull off. Apparently he's a god with the SMG-11 since on Amaru he almost killed them. Or won. But no, he did win the round with just using the SMG-11. Girl cats are normally evil. Oh, trust me. CC is 100% concentrated evil and crack cocaine. Oh, he doesn't notice the drone right above him that just got thrown. That would have made sound. Doesn't notice it. What was that recoil control? Am I just, like, garbage at this game that I wouldn't be able to control this? That was probably, like, five, six shots with, like, almost no recoil at all. I 
just love dicks, bro. Am I that bad, chat? I just might be. So if that smoke actually hurts anyone, I'd be shocked. Oh. Well, he finally got the drone. Wait, how did the uh, Jaeger die? I didn't even notice. He's 0 and 5. He's given his entire life to throwing this match. Which is impressive. I don't know how he survived that. He's basically standing out in the open of three different angles and no one killed him. Dude, I see this happen so much. People keep breaking their throwables by throwing it into a Rooney Gates. I think just the other day when I was playing Duel to Diamond, someone threw his C4 into an Aruni Gate. Like, bro, stop throwing them into it. Okay, 1v3. Okay, he gets the one kill way too easily there. Does that person... Okay, they just killed Doc in there. So it's not impossible that they would have been like bathroom. Actually, wait. So Doc dies at 45 seconds going to 44. Before a full second has even passed, he's already aiming at the bathroom. Obviously he doesn't have the SMG 11 out yet, but he was ready. I guess you could hear it. He almost kills Ace there. Does he hip fire lock on to this guy here when he peeks? He kind of does. And he loses control of the SMG-11, which he hadn't lost control of yet. Uh, I don't know. I think there were a decent amount of suspicious things, but I don't think there was ever enough to say like, yeah, 100% this guy's cheating. We're going to do a poll, because I genuinely do not know. You guys have one minute. Moving away from Siege for good, I think. Thanks for all the fun content. Don't worry, Turek. I will be moving away from Siege soon, too. I will be basically going all in for Battlefield 2042. So if you're looking to play that game, stick around for some Battlefield content coming soon. Votes are in. 74% of you voted no. They are not cheating. Probably accurate. I feel like they were suspiciously good with that um, SMG-11. Especially like we had mentioned previously, when they could barely hit a drone, they somehow managed to just perfectly hit headshots on every single person. Seems weird, but even though I am suspicious of them... One sec. The only one I could find was... Don't know if it's this person. They were cute with so this is the right person. Um... Gold, gold, platinum looks legitimate, no crazy stats, barely a positive win rate, barely a positive KD. I don't know, maybe they were just feeling themselves and they had a really good match there. They also have a ridiculous amount of ranked matches for only being 34 levels above 50. They have 200 ranked matches, that seems an absurd amount. Probably, probably either feeling themselves that match, or maybe, honestly, the enemy team could have just been that bad. Also, we have to remember, a lot of their kills were kind of free, because the line would just sprint in, or the, the guy who, like, was his own teammate who was accusing him of cheating would sprint in every single time, dicks, and be like, oh, like, shoot at me, they'd shoot at that guy, and then the not-impulse guy would just shoot them. So, like, there were free kills. I don't know.
Next match is we have bling dot dash accusing poison. I do not believe this is the same bling that is normally in chat. I believe in the document they said this guy is a ranked champion playing in platinum or like previously cha champion or something. I don't know. We'll see. Again, the round is uh, almost over. This is a very common trend we see in hacker matches. The round's almost over and prep phase only just finished. I mean, it's possible they could just rush, but... This guy's about to clean up. What did I just witness here? If this guy's supposed to be a champion, is he like one of those special cases that you see on like YouTube where they're like, I hit champion I by, this, or while I'm completely blind and deaf? Because when they run out here, there's no way you wouldn't be able to hear four people stomping on the balcony with you. So this guy is like Helen Keller. He's got someone spelling into his palm while playing. God, I'm getting nauseous just watching this. This is someone who plays at like 16,000 DPI. That was, I'm pretty sure that was literally like two frames. Two frames he went from here to there to there. And that's somewhat locked onto this guy. Because <sighs> watch. It's possible his sensitivity could just be this fucking eye. Because like he sees Sophia, which is normal. Like I I tried to pause it as fast as I could and it already went way past it. So it was way past, and then one frame later is already back on them. I don't... Even a pro player, I feel like, would have a hard time going that fast. Go... That's, like, one frame difference. Maybe, maybe I'm just not good. I don't know. I don't even think pros would be able to flick that fast. Or at least, like, not fix their flick. So there's a difference between flicking two... Or like flicking to someone and then killing them. And then this where he flicks too far and brings it back in one frame. Oh my god. I know the fire rate sounds a lot higher than it actually was, but holy shit. That was rough to watch. Looked like a million missed shots, but apparently not too many missed. How long is this match? That's oh, only five rounds. Why did I choose a five round match? Normally I choose at least six rounds. Oh, this is a common spawn peak now. Fucking coconut bra. This is why me and him are no longer friends. Because he finds these stupid fucking angles. There's no way that Yana walks into this shot. The one thing I'm paying the most attention to is the fact that he's like, this guy is apparently a champion player. He does not play like a champion player. Like, his aim is not that great, and he's whiffing a lot. Granted, he could just be doing, like, does not care. And, like, he doesn't hear anything. He doesn't hear all the people who are around him all the time. 
I don't know how you lose that. Well, he's dead. I'll just watch that back in slow motion to make sure there was nothing suspicious. No, he looked past him with his shots. I don't know what region this is. This guy must be playing on like 2000 sensitivity for DPI. Like, is he deaf? I, I don't know. I feel like in this last round he must do something crazy, because if they only accuse him off the first round, like, dude, this guy's like, this must be insanely high DPI. So this is a champion? Bro, if this was like, guess your rank, I would have guessed like gold for that guy. How is he champion? Diamond, champion, diamond, 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 diamond. He has been diamond, or he's only been diamond with a positive KD twice. Yikes. On this account, now he has higher stats. Still don't know how he gets diamond or champion. I'm assuming a five stack. You know, I'm not here to judge too much, but like, holy shit, he was really bad there. I don't know why they were accused. I assume... I remember the text document said this guy was a champion and now he's in gold. So they just assumed that he was cheating and then, like, deranked or something? I don't know. Also, yeah, what happened here? I guess he started playing less. Diamond. Pretty consistently. No rank. Gold. No rank, no rank. No rank. There wasn't really anything suspicious there, but... I also don't understand how he's a champion player. I guess not a cheater. That's fine. We'll move on. We have ROT007, who's accusing Raz. Dot dash. Yup, nine rounds. So ROT007, who's accusing... Oh, his teammate. I always look at the other team, just assuming it's going to be an enemy. To repeat what Bling said, Poison is a legit champ, but this is an alt, and I think he was playing from Iceland on his laptop during this match. But he also has consistently reached champion and diamond on that account with negative KDs, so... I guess anything's possible. That looked fine. Oh, I didn't even notice. Look at, uh, look at IQ's nails. They have the Fnatic symbol on it, if you have the, uh, Fnatic IQ. That's actually pretty cool, I like that. Did he miss that? And then just not shoot it? There was, or there has been a bug on, um, what's it called? The match replay system where when you destroy something, it doesn't actually get destroyed. But I don't know if that was it or if he actually just missed. I get hit by this. Oh, maybe not, never mind. So it looks like he did just, in fact, miss the one cap can trap. And what did I just watch? I don't know why he's jiggle peeking this constantly and then just ignores the fact that Capcan was slow crawling out of there. Honestly, that gave me a tiny bit of a jump scare there. The Ella Grismont went off and he blew up. I don't know what Capcan was doing, guys. I'm just here to watch. I'm not here to judge too much. I leave that for Judge Varsity, who hasn't been around in a while. I don't know if... I don't think this guy included any information onto why he accused him, but I, I might just be forgetting something. He does have the Varsity loadout, which is nice. Black Ice on the gun, and then the Varsity attachment skin. I bet he probably has the Varsity charm as well. Because all the cool kids have Varsity charms. And then this guy, I don't know. He just strikes me as a cool kid if he has the charm. If not, he's not a cool kid. How did he know that? How did he know that the Mozzie was pushing? 
Ash was the only one who hopped on cameras. She hopped on way later. Hmm. love Dex, bro. He did sprint for half a second. But that wasn't even actually when he looked over. So Mozzie sprinted for half a second, and then from here on out, was slow walking down the stairs. And the Twitch went and looked and waited for him. Seems a little suspicious to me. Let's see if there's any more. He just walks into sight and then halfway through is like, oh wait, I should look to my left. I don't know. Feeling a little suspicious about this. I think he's trying to hide it super well. There, he just saw the L after quick peeking, but I think he's trying very hard to hide some walls. Because he has just the confidence to push through when he's done no droning. And he also just knows where they're going to push him from. Why is everyone laying on the ground? I just love decks, bro. That's the strategy in Siege. It's called the Snake Strat. This is the first time he's droning. Is there a reason why he specifically checked that? Okay, so he sees Mozzie go downstairs. So he's like, okay. I gotta drone this out, I guess. Don't know what that was. Match replays bugged on the destruction. I think he would have been able to hear that guy walking up white, but he still drones out over here just in case. Hey. See, it's stuff like this that concerns me. And, like, when you watch a lot of the hacker replays, you start to catch certain things. So, we'll analyze how he drones here. So he throws the drone in, it's by bar. He just drives it straight through, kind of looking at white, and then looks to check VIP. But not fully, just like a quick check. And then he pulls it back. Somewhat checks bar. He doesn't check uh, front entrance. Drives his drone up. Barely looks at Kitchen, and then as soon as he gets close to Mozzie here, he's like, okay. We're going for the deep checks in the corner. And then gets off drone. So stuff like that. That's like stuff that I pick up from other cheaters. I'm like, they specifically drone where the person's going to be. Not saying that he is necessarily cheating right now. Just that he does do some suspicious things. If he's ready for this frost... Hold on. Hold on. What was this? He starts pushing up. He's like, yeah, I'm going to throw a grenade. <clears throat> hmm. I don't know about that one, Chief. He did just look at the frost or the wall there, but he was also looking at the door. It's like, so that's the thing. He, he pushed up brown stairs, right? Super slow. And then he stopped, throws a grenade. Why wasn't he that cautious when he pushed up white? How come when he's pushing into this hallway here, he's just looking around like he is fine? And then he backs up when he knows he needs to. Except for in that case, he just ran right at the Ella. Like, why is he only being cautious on certain parts? Other parts, he's like, fuck it, let's just go right in. He walked up, tried to nade Frost, and then left.
I am uh, growing more and more suspicious of this guy. Man can't even capture a drone. I'm assuming he's typing here. But stuff like this is like, so why is he, why he just comfortably... So he's sitting here. Or what? Okay, he's sitting here. Sees that sledge goes to the roof. I guess you could hear him running across here, so then he moves. He's like, alright, time to move out of this way. And starts sitting here staring at this person rappelling down. His teammate then jumps out, who I think is the person who accused him. No, it's a different guy. Killmonger. And now you know he's safe here. Oh. That's weird. And then he just drove his drone into the Aruni gate? Was that? Did I see that right? Yep. So he knows they broke into red. That wasn't really like a pre-fire or anything. He just kind of ran and saw him. Like it seems like the enemy team is just not doing anything. He's capitalized on it, capitalizing on it, but he also is just like fully aware of where they are and what they're doing. Yeah, there's so there's no smoke on red. He looks there, looks away, looks at red. Here's the Grisma, kills the guy. He goes right back to Skylight. He starts trying to throw the C4 towards Skylight. Which I get it, you know, the guy did shoot from Skylight, so it's not impossible he wouldn't have hurt him, but still. Okay. Oh, the guy left. Alright, well that saves us some time. So you guys say he's definitely cheating, but again, we do not have 100% definitive proof. It's not like when people lock onto someone through a wall and we're like, yes, you can tell he's cheating. This is like a lot of suspicious things that could add up, but like you need that 100% definitive proof, which is what I say every single time. Because we basically try to treat this like a, a court proceeding. You don't just send someone to jail because you think they, like, might have done it. But stuff like that, pretty fucking suspicious. He's already looking down when he does it. Like he already expected him to be down there. So Nook's below him using her gadget, so she's walking around real quiet. And he runs on the stairs and aims at her immediately. So this might be the round where we get the definitive proof. He runs down to another person, because they're down two to three. He doesn't want to lose this match. He knows where the last two are. He's already running towards them. I guess the one guy was shooting. Oh my god, stop. Seems like as soon as they're about to lose, he's like, yeah, I need to just run around and kill everyone. Which, you know, I get it can't happen, but he did just kind of run around and immediately shoot them as soon as he was near them. Oh, he looks to the right when they go to the right. Look, so he watches them spawn. He runs over here. And then it's like he was like, oh, he might be going left, so he's gonna get ready. And then sees so like, oh no, they're coming to the right. Pretty fucking bad. And now he's probably gonna spend a bunch of time on drones. Oh, he died. It just. You can only forgive it so many times. And they were getting spawn peeked, but I'm waiting to see if he just uh oh. Just kinda wanna watch how the rest of the match plays out. Oh. He did that before as well when he came up the staircase. Like he was looking at someone through the wall, but at the same time you could say he's looking at the corner. Oh, someone's running towards them. Oh no, they've run away. 
I just love dicks, bro. If he watches the bottom of red here. Oh, never mind. He just saw him. Like, I want to say, you know, it's all on him. What is this doc doing? And how does he not realize he's being shot at? Like, what? Because, like, Ash is pushing, not tracing or anything. Or even tracking him, but... Just like, okay, you can see Doc's head there. So he's like, okay, where is he? That's the people he's playing against, so like, it makes you think, like, is it just them? I was at the bottom of the stairs. I don't think they made any noise. Oh, they are standing, so they would have actually made noise here. But he looks down after. I want to see how this match finishes out. I assume blue team wins. But there are a lot of times where he just dies easily. And if he doesn't, then he is just so, like, brain dead and confident that it's working out in his favor. Because he just walks right in, like, he owns the place. And generally he does, because he knows where everyone is. No spawn kill this time. I feel like someone who's doing that well, like he's 15 and 4, putting those pests down just the middle of the hallway, like I feel like you should know better at that point, right? It looked like he was almost ready to shoot that thermite through the wall. Because like he pushes up here. He doesn't even look at the door, he's just like, alright, look in there, look in there. And then he's like, oh shit. And they're over there too. He just hip fired him for. He actually already got 25 damage. This guy hasn't even shot yet. He already took 25 damage. Both bullets landed dead center. I feel like either this hip fire must not be accurate or this guy is also using hip fire cheats. Do anything. No, the shots all had a spread. I'm getting it. Now, now he's just. Oh. And this is why we watch every single round till the end, unless we get absolutely definitive proof early on. I just love dicks, bro. Because, like, everything else that we had, if I had submitted that, obviously we could look at it and be like, you could reason your way out of it. But when they do that, that's when you're like, okay, there it is. Possibly his rank got reset already. He's only played one match. Wait, was that not a ranked match? No, it was. What? He only has one win on record. But he has 391 kills per match. This is what I'm confused about. If his ranked got reset because he's a cheater, why does he still have one win on the record? Every other person that we've looked up who was 100% cheating, when they got banned, all of their ranked stats got wiped. So they had zero wins, zero losses. This guy still has one. I... I don't know. Confused. Probably a stolen account, hacked on for one season, and then, uh, banned. Here we have Scaly Snake, or Sc Scaly Snake, who's accusing Nova, Dash Dot, and then possibly also Casimiro. This is a six round match, so it's not gonna be too, too long. He's chasing Nook right now, or he's about to follow Nook here. He 
He did not know Nook was there. Alright. One guy dead. He's just running around like a... Like a pro. He does not care. Oh, so Yubi needs Vanguard. Like, the current cheating denial is shocking, and the manual anti-cheat is non-existent. First off, just so you know, as far as I'm aware, but this goes for most anti-cheat, it's not just, like, a, something that they can just slap it onto whatever they want. Look at this. He looks at her. Looks at him. Looks away. This guy's cheating. You can actually uh, already tell. I'm, I'm willing to 100% confirm it here because look, when he looks at Hibana, it moves with her and then he moves away. So 100% Casemiro is cheating. Alright, it's back to the whole anti-cheat thing. Anti-cheat isn't just something you can just slap onto a product normally and just be like, yep, it's done. Yeah, he's cheating. Um, we'll see if Nova is. Yeah, it's not something you can just slap onto a product, call it a day. So Vanguard probably wouldn't even work with Siege. They'd have to do a whole, like, custom overhaul just for it. Also, it's important to remember that one of the biggest issues uh, facing Siege right now is the destructibility. Destructibility in this game basically opens up a whole can of worms of just, like, it is possible for these people to get kills this way. It's not like other games where, like, every surface is hard so you can't just, like, shoot through it. Because Siege has so much destruction, it's just like, yeah, these people could have got kills like this. We can't tell for sure. That was a decent lineup. This guy basically just looks like he puts himself in precarious situations because he's like, yeah, I'll get a kill. And then he's like, oh shit, I'm being shot at. He gets down by Cali. Probably gets picked up. Yeah. He's like, he's just watching the nut. He knows. So these two might be cute together. We haven't really seen anything crazy from Nova yet. He just kind of walks around, super confident. He's looking for the Cali out there. Oh, he peeks here. He can see her. And she didn't even notice him. And then here. Okay, yeah, we can confirm that this guy is the one who submitted it because he can hear Nook use her gadget. I just want to see if Nova's cheating because the guy said specifically Nova he's accusing. And then possibly... Casimiro, who we know Casimiro 100% is cheating. Oh. He did happen to line up with the guy through the box. He's reminding me a lot of the, the poison guy who's just flicking around like crazy for no reason. If he gets off of this... So Nova and Casemiro are 100% hacking. Let's see if they've been banned. Nova has not been banned. And is currently in gold. Highest was plat 2 and then dropped down 600 MMR. Is the reason why it dropped down 600 is because Casemiro got banned? Hmm...
Maybe I do need to watch the rest of the match. I don't see anything that jumps out at me here. Like, everything seems pretty consistent. Like, this is pretty normal progression. So, this guy hasn't been banned. Which means that... They either had another person with them, and that account got banned, and they lost a bunch of elo, or this guy's boosting people. He just keeps dropping down in rank, and then boosting them back up. Good with Nova, Niv, Whiffs, none of the people that are in this match. Oh, Wise actually is in there. Amniplex, is he in there? He is. So, he might be boosting people. Uh, second last match, we have Dreev who's accusing XMQZ in the Villa match. Yeah, this guy's name actually is just LOL. Okay. So far, everyone else is just dead immediately from this guy's team. I just love dicks. And the smoke just stares the at the Yana there and doesn't content. kill them. You're the only one I'll watch play this game anymore. It feels so stable. This team is incredibly aggressive. He looked at him. He knew where he was. He just didn't shoot. So last round, these three just kind of ran around and killed everyone immediately. He's looking at their spawns right now. You can tell because he's like looking back and forth between just these two points. He knows that he repelled onto the balcony, so like, alright, no need to watch that window anymore. Let's slow that down. Oh. That was pretty fast. Pretty fast kill there. That was suspicious, but it could have been him holding the angle on the door. We can already tell that he's been looking at people in their spawn, though. Like, what he did at the beginning of the round is, like, just textbook looking at their spawn. Oh, no, the Gemini. Ah. He's sneaking up on the Twitch here. Twitch here is on. He whiffs. So, my guess is probably walls already. He, uh, he stood in library, just looked back and forth between the two spawns. He knew that all five of them were there. He waited and held that window until the guy repelled onto the balcony, which, to give some credit to him, yes, you would be able to hear him repel up to the top, so... Maybe he just played off sound at that point, but yeah, looking back and forth between spawns... Pretty textbook cheating. Now he's just looking at them again. Looking at all five of them. He knows he doesn't have to worry about his right. Why is he just staring into the void? Like, I get he's looking at them through the wall, but... Mm -hmm. Did you just line this guy up through the shield? Or was it he saw him right before he ducked? Okay, so XMQZ is cheating. Huh. Crazy. Definitely bought this account. Alright, well, we don't need to look at anything more beyond that. We know he's cheating. 
He's using walls, and he went from a consistent gold to diamond. Yeah. We have Orange Searock, who's accusing Shalom. In a, I believe this is a six round unranked match. And they're in Ash, of course. Because what else would you play? All right, this is gonna be a 45 second round, or sorry, a minute 15 second round. That's a thing? We'll just, we'll do one quick check to make sure. Pez, it's been nearly a year. When is the podcast coming back? Um, one second. So no one has any drones on him at all. And I don't think at any point do they have any drones on him. No. Well, that's going to be a quick end then, because uh, he runs right in like this, and he's just waiting for it. We'll, we'll, we'll watch the rest of the round to make sure you know. Maybe he does this with other people. What is he doing? Oh, hello, Mozzie. Well, he did see his arm there, but he was already pre-aiming him before that. He's really bad at hacking. He has no recoil control. Yeah, we can... We can say... Because... Fuck, let me just do absolute due diligence here. When Ash runs in... Cav's already in her silent step. She's crouch walking. And yeah, she's ready for it. It's not even like she heard her move or anything. Well, I guess that's going to be it then for the second group. I thought that this would... The last three matches were going to go super long, but all of them were very short because uh, Shalom is cheating, XMQZ is cheating, Casemiro is cheating, same with probably Nova. So yeah, that's it for the second group. We had we had six submissions. I guess seven people total accused. Six of them a hundred percent cheating. Poison was accused, even though he didn't really do anything. Apparently, he's a champion player, but he did not look like a champion player. Yeah, that is uh, that's it for the second group. I just love a lot of cheaters at love the end of the, the content, season. Bro. It looks like. I'm assuming this is because at the end of a season. Uh, people are more likely to cheat because they want to get to their diamond rank right before the season ends. And probably given that there's less people, they might be able to just climb their way up without much competition. I don't know. Either way, a lot of cheaters today. I think we had in total three matches out of the 12 that weren't cheating.